Hi, I'm Nancy McKeon. And I'm Phil McKeon. The film you're about to see is a true story. It's a story that is, unfortunately, repeated all too often every day throughout our country. But in this film, too, there is a message of hope. And since this story was first broadcast, that ray of hope has grown brighter. With each succeeding broadcast, the story of the Walsh family and the movement that has grown out of their personal tragedy has spread across the country and even beyond our borders. It may eventually help to protect the lives of thousands of children, just like my friends here. As a result of this movement, more and more people are taking an interest in learning how they can help protect the lives of our children at risk. Please continue watching after the conclusion of this movie, and we'll be back with some important information on how you may help. And now, Adam. There have been great strides made since Adam was first seen. An impressive number of children have been recovered and returned home. Companies and organizations have rallied to help make the public aware of the problem that seems to be growing all around us. In large cities and small towns, groups have been formed just as we saw in this movie. But there are some things that each of you viewing this video can do to protect the children. They may seem quite simple, but sometimes folks don't always do the simple things. Here they are. Make certain each child knows his or her home phone number, including the area code. Make sure your children know their full address, including the state and have the children's fingerprints taken and keep them at home. Keep up-to-date photographs of your children. Consciously make a mental note of what your children wear each day and be sure your child knows what to do if you become separated in a public place. Teach your children a password and teach them not to leave with anyone who doesn't know that secret word. Your child should know that although most adults are good people, some adults aren't. Get dental records for your children as early as possible and keep them current. If you move, get a copy of the latest records and take them with you. And make certain the school telephones you if your child is absent. These are things that will help. So will organizing a child safety days in schools and in neighborhoods. And individuals who might notice unusual behavior between an adult and a child should notify authorities. Our friends here and children everywhere are worth the extra effort that every one of us can make just by paying attention to the simple things. We all thank you.